The Cleveland Browns are getting a proven playmaker in Jarvis Landry. Durable. Starting 64 straight games. 400 catches in his career in the first four years. More than any other player in NFL history. And here, Jay Cutler against the Patriots. Motions Jarvis Landry into a bunch formation. When nobody from the Patriots moves with Landry, good indicator that it's going to be zone coverage. And on the play, Landry's going to run a shallow cross. Parker's going deeper. Still's going to run across and back out, and the tight end's going to run across. Let's see what Jarvis Landry sees. Emerging standout, Kenyon Drake. Three-man rush on second and goal. Cutler wide open. Landry, touchdown. He recognizes the zone coverage of the Patriots. Four men here boxing the cross of Parker. What does he do? He sits down, gives an easy read here for Jay Cutler to throw to Jarvis Landry for one of his nine touchdown catches on the season. Durable playmaker in Jarvis Landry. Tyrod Taylor is a winning quarterback with a 23-21 and record over the last three seasons for Buffalo with a touchdown-interception ratio of 51-18. to And against Kansas City, he lines up in a 3 by one set, and they're going to bootleg Tyrod Taylor out into the flat, something I think Todd Haley will do in Cleveland with him as he runs Zay Jones on a deep over route. Taylor rolling, looking, throwing, end zone, caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Zay Jones. Now, he's got plenty of options, he's got plenty of vision, and he's got time. He's got Shady in the flat. Charles Clay is a safety valve, but he wants the rookie Zay Jones in the corner against Kansas City, and he takes his shot for one of his 14 touchdown passes on the season. Only four interceptions. Doesn't make a lot of mistakes. 220 of the 400 catches that Jarvis Landry has in his four-year career have gone for first downs. And when they need a play over the last four years of Miami, they go to Jarvis Landry. Here on fourth and two, they line up in a bunch formation. And Jarvis Landry is going to run right into the teeth of this defense. Right in no man's land where the safety Ricardo Allen is just waiting for him to come across the middle. Cutler over the middle, and he hits his man at the 35-yard line. Jarvis Landry went up and brought it down. Now, there's the teeth of the defense. A seven-man zone right here by Atlanta. All eyes are up, ready to converge and contact the throw here by Jay Cutler to Jarvis Landry. He knows he's going to get crunched but he has made a good living over the middle of the field. The Cleveland Browns are getting a tough playmaking receiver in Jarvis Landry, one that can get him a lot of first downs. I believe the Browns have gotten tougher in two positions by adding Landry and Tyrod Taylor. Here against Miami, they're going to run play action, a power-o-run action. And when Tyrod Taylor fakes and sets up, he's going to have Kiko Alonso coming right at him untouched. And the defensive end is going to turn the corner. He's got to stay in there and take the hit to be able to deliver this throw to the tight end, Charles Clay. He's willing to do that and to make an accurate throw from the pocket. Taylor back to the air. Another completion to Clay. But I think the Browns have gotten tougher at two positions with Jarvis Landry and Tyrod Taylor. Important component for the Browns in 2018. The Miami Dolphins targeted Jarvis Landry 160 times in 16 games last year. They called a lot of plays for him, like in week two against the Chargers. They run two players off to take the coverage with them to expand the zone so that they could get Jarvis Landry on a pivot route underneath. And this is what it looked like. Parker in the back going deep here and taking four Chargers defenders with him. Cutler with time, throwing, and that's complete. That's Landry diving inside the 10. They box the deep shots, but it opens the, the void up underneath for Jarvis Landry. And Jay Cutler gets an easy completion. Now, Landry only averaged eight point yards per catch last year, a career low. Can the Cleveland Browns get more out of him this coming season? There's no question that Tyrod Taylor has to improve as a passer. In a playoff loss to Jacksonville, he's got his tight end, Nick O'Leary, down the seam, one on one against Tayshawn Gibson. As Tyrod Taylor takes the ball here and steps up, you can see Tayshawn Gibson in man coverage. 
the other safety, Barry Church, leaning to the other side of the field. Elsewhere, Jacksonville is in zone coverage with their eyes on Tyrod Taylor. From the 23, he goes long for O'Leary. He's got a good, clean pocket to step up into. And when he gets this opportunity, he's got to make these throws down the field. He's got to improve in the deep passing game here with a shot to Nick O'Leary. And in Cleveland, he's got to improve this part of the game.